Welcome everyone to Game Bite! You know what that means. It's Wednesday night in uh, multiple parts of the month, but this specific Game Bite comes to you on August 12th <laughs> here in Manila. And I think also in, in America at this point. It's already August 12th there. It's uh, about 10 p.m. We started a little late today, I'm sorry. But uh, you know what? It's my turn to welcome you to the Quitsong Media Studio studio. And uh, it's a, it's a rip roaring good time tonight. We've got a special guest on. It's his first time as well. So I'm excited to have him here. But we have other people who are always here, ready to go. None so much more than Insta DZ himself. These nuts. How you doing, Diego? I'm doing great. I do not have my complete set. Well, okay, let's, let's put it like this first. I'm sure you guys have noticed that the background has changed. Changed, but to something very familiar. Yes, I am back in my original setup from last year, Harold. What episode was that? Where we did our, did we pass our hundred episode, our centennial at that time? I don't remember anymore, man. It's been so long. Yeah, but for those of you who've been longtime listeners, you are very familiar with this background. Yes, I am back home in oh my god, the deep south of Cavite and Southwood because you know cutting our losses rents a bitch. <laughs> so I had to move back, and now I'm back here. So and I'm I'm. I just realized the other day that the only way, you know, because of this whole COVID thing that uh, you lose track of days, what day it is, but mm -hmm. Wednesdays at Quiz Song is the only way I can remember what day of the week it is. <laughs> like, yeah, do we have a show today, awesome. Harold? <laughs> is it tomorrow? Or is our next show? <laughs> did, did, he mes did he message me today saying we have show notes? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, if you have something weekly, this that's the way to keep track of the calendar. And that's how I oh, did man. it. Well, I'm glad to be bringing a, a, a consistent amount. Oh, where's the dead music? Uh, to, a consistent amount of uh, regularity. Yeah, a little, a little anchor to hold on to for you, DZ. That's, that's great. I'm, 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 I'm glad I could provide that service for you. But with me <laughs> and DZ today, we've got a returning regular co-host. You guys might know him from rubbing. Lamps left and right in your house, and he appears out of nowhere. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Eldrigen. Eldrigen, how you doing, buddy? Hello, good evening. Um, no, I will not appear in your house if you rub a lamp. But yes, I am here tonight, and it's been so long. Uh, and if I had half the clouds or you know the charisma of the rock, I'd say I have come back to game pipe. But I don't. So hi, welcome, good evening, everybody. I am here. <laughs> uh, Fifty percent is believing. You just got, you just gotta 50, look in, yeah. look yourself in the eye or the webcam and just just go at it. Just have it. Right, right, right. Yes. But yes, well, Eldon, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're we're glad you're here. We're glad you're back, and it's been a long time coming. We we've missed you. Uh, we've seen you in the chat, and we've tried to arrange this sooner, but we're glad to have you anytime we can. Thank With you. me, Eldred and DZ today, like I mentioned earlier, making his first appearance on Game Byte. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Ram Ronquillo. How you doing, Ram? Eyes up. Eyes up. Oh. Oh. Ladies oh, and gentlemen, please. Loud. Calm down. Sorry, oh, sorry. The the kind of the kind of rabbit, and it says your name is Elgin. I don't know why. Oh no! That is <laughs> no. He, he is also Elgin. Yeah. Oh, he's also Elgin. Okay, I'm sorry. He is also uh, Elgin, Elgin yes. too. Okay, but we Ram, are. it's great to have you on, man. We, you yeah, are another you. frequent, uh, frequent flyer of our chat flyer. room, and uh... <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. And uh, yeah, we, we've been meaning to have you on for a while as well because you know I've seen you in events. We've we've uh, we've bonded and. I, th I thought the I thought the UI broke because I just saw like a blank. <laughs> For those of you who are listening to the audio only version of the podcast, I, I was surprised that there was nothing next to me on on, on the video feed. Yeah. And I thought that the the UI broke. I thought someone left or, but DZ <laughs> DZ just got up. Yeah. He just got up and left. He, ba he bailed. <laughs> he bailed. Uh, yeah. Yep. Better yeah. better while the ship is sinking than when it's actually sunk. So Ram, uh -huh. uh, like I'm. <laughs> Like I mentioned, we we see each other a lot during certain events. Yeah, I saw you a lot during yeah, C games. I tried to slip you in some insider info. You know, yeah, like yeah. Ram, here are the odds on uh, on Vietnam and Myanmar. You know, I just, <laughs> I just tried to try to squeeze you in those odds. But C uh, game was fun though. Was oh, fun I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you found it fun. Yeah, you you were there for all the all days. Sports all, days? What? Yeah, all days. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, what, uh, DZ and, and Elgin, you know, I, I worked the floor 
you know, of the back of the backstage <laughs> in, in the Sea Games. And uh, yeah, Ram you was had, a bit of a were, respite. You had a Mike Wazowski moment, right? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I was I was on TV. I oh made my, my TV debut. Was... Oh, but it's the most amazing thing in Philippine esports. How, how do you show up on TV? Mike Wazowski. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got covered by a logo, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but because of how player. unique Harold's body build is, yeah. anyone could spot him a mile away. <laughs> yeah, okay. gotcha. I know I have, a photo, have a photo of that somewhere. I, th I knew. So I know someone shared it or something. Or Carol, I think that was you, right? Did you? Was that you who found a it photo? Like, who, who took a screen cap? I know That's it was funny. one of our friends. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I had a moment where, of course, I was standing next to eSports standout and uh, amazing Hearthstone shoutcaster Gia D, a yeah. local legend here in the Philippines and, of course, around Southeast Asia's Hearthstone community. And, uh, yeah, I, I, was hap I just happened to be standing next to her at the right time that I, I got this featured on, uh, on Channel 5. And uh, a lot of live streams across Southeast Asia say, so, you know, people are like, hey, it's that guy from Quit Stalling. And his old guys. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh -huh. yeah, definitely what they said, yeah. This is so definitely meta. Said, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. They're like, oh, it's, it's like watching another episode of Game Fight. It's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh, I feel like I'm in the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> wow, deep cuts. A... <laughs> oh, my God. But yes, we, we had great times. I can't find the screenshot, but I will. That's, that's my mission throughout the show is to find the screenshot. I, I know I posted it too. It might be on Twitter. So I'll look for that. But yeah, uh, Rem, it's great to have you on. Uh, Thank you for having me. Dude, I, we, have, we have a couple of questions for you. We have a couple of cues for you to A. All right. <laughs> later on. But uh, we also want to discuss a little bit of news. I know Elgin's been hot on the heels of some scoops. And uh, we're going to bring those up later as well. But... You know, we start off the show, sort of start off the show the same way almost every time. Uh, and we do it by asking our friends, our families, everyone, <laughs> everyone in the chat, and of course, our guests and co-hosts, what have you been playing? And uh, Ram, being is, it is your first time on the show, but uh, you are okay. familiar with how we do things. Why don't you lead us off? What have you been playing? Uh, funny thing is that... Um... A couple of weeks ago, I think my, my PC broke down, so my, my gaming has been very limited to my Switch, which Ooh. I thankfully bought, <laughs> like, late last year. Um, that so is, that is fortunate. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, I think my power supply broke down, and my my laptop currently is, is just not good for gaming. D oh, despite yikes. being this Despite being a gaming laptop, it only has, like, 4 gigs of RAM, and it's hella slow. <laughs> Um, what am I playing right now? I'm playing Star Ocean uh, First Departure R. On Look at all these faces. Look at all these faces. Wait, wait, is that uh, a remake? Because I know that was in PlayStation 2. Uh, that was the that was the first game. That was the first game. It's a remake. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I, I, I love it because I played uh, Star Ocean The Second Story on PS1. I love that game. Never finished it. Uh, but, <laughs> but, yeah. I'm hoping to finish uh, First Departure. I'm hoping the second story comes out on the Switch, but I think that's a that might be a PlayStation exclusive. Star Ocean. Man, I remember that. Oh, game. now he's now he's looking it up. Star no, because I really uh... no because I because here okay okay back because okay, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry Ram but like Segway. okay with, I'm sorry Ram I'm just looking it up I'm looking it up <laughs> because in the PS2 all right so. When, when, we, when me and my brother wanted to play in the PS2, of course, you know, we had the um, legal, of course, legally obtained copies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It first. wouldn't work yeah, for whatever reason. Okay. I wouldn't, I don't know why it wouldn't work, but it would mm -hmm. never work because we could never play the game. But we just go to BF Ruins every time where they sell legally obtained copies mm -hmm. of that. But it would yes. never work. So that's why it's, it's like, Extra where, legally. Do you, where are you playing it now? Uh, I'm playing it on the Switch. Uh, okay. I think it was on sale recently. I'm, I, have, I subscribe to the Australian uh, store. So I think mm -hmm. it's around 800 pesos, which is... Oh, okay. That's good. Drop. Nice. So that's, nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my uh, an eye out for uh, when Brigandine Legend of Renersia goes on sale. Um, Sorry, what, what was that? Brigandine? Bri Brigandine Legend, uh, Legend of 
runner siya. It's it's supposedly a well not quite a sequel but it it's a game that follows uh, Brigandine Legend of Forsenna. Oh it, oh wow, Dizzy, this reminds me of some of the the Jap like that one Japanese uh <laughs> that one. That, the, the JRPG we played in um in Casual Connect. Hold on, let me but yeah, it will it, like that. That one we played was kind of trying to emulate all of those as well. So it looks cool. Like, uh, yeah. is this something you've played before, or is it gonna be your first time? I I played um I played the demo of Renerja, but I I played the first game, Le- uh, Brigandine Legend of Persona on the PS One. Uh, it's one of those games that not many people have played. Or like, I know very few people that that played that game. So when they announced that a Legend of Renerja was coming out. I was like, oh god, I I gotta I gotta play it. Got to get um, on that. Yeah, but you know, Switch being Switch, it's expensive. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Games are always full priced and all that. So I'm I'm just waiting up for either uh, a second hand copy to show up or which I doubt because I don't, I don't think many people will pick it up because it's such a I think it's such a niche such a, a niche game. Mm-hmm. Uh, but either that or if it goes on sale, I'll pick it up definitely. Oh, for sure, man. You, you always got to snap up them deals, man. When I see Crisis on Steam for 200 bucks, uh, I think that's like $4, right? No, 40, four, no, $4, right? 200 bucks? Some, yeah, 4 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah something yeah, like that. Yeah. When I see it, I'm just like, mm, I don't really, I won't really play you right away, but I'm, I got I gots to get you. I got to get you. Yep. It's so cheap. And I'm pretty sure Crisis would still melt a lot of computers in the modern day, so... Yeah. So Farnisha knows, uh, Farnisha in chat knows Brigandine. French Fichu. Oh, <laughs> Furanzuzu, welcome to the ch- Welcome back, French Fichu, and thank you for the sub. Francis, guys, back with another sub. His 23rd month. He's on another streak. Hey. And, mm-hmm. uh, if I remember earlier on, Bimo King of Wu is also catching up to Francis with 21 months oh. of subscriptions already. So, Oh, here. Uh, I found my Mike Wazowski moment, guys. Real quick, before we get to what Elgin and DZ and the rest of the chat are playing. Because I want to talk about what the, what the chat's been playing. Here's my moment, guys. This is my moment. <laughs> this oh, is the moment. moment. <laughs> it's so perfect. So perfect. <laughs> there, there was, there, oh, that is oh. golden. Oh, you can't, God. You, you yeah. can't. Like... Like, you can't make this up, you know yeah, what I mean? This is a one happened. in a million chance this <laughs> happens, and it and it happened. And it happened if to you, you, Harold. Congratulations. For, for everyone in chat who's always wondered how tall... I mean, who don't know, who have never met Harold in person. I'm That's sorry, how actually man. tall he is. <laughs> like, G is not short. I was actually short, very man. surprised. It's why? I was actually very why? surprised how, how tall uh, Harold was when I met him in Tegan. Like, tall boy. Oh, I was looking up, I was like, oh, dude. <laughs> Wait, what oh, that, man, where it was, was that song from? This is the moment. Where's that from? I do not remember, but I, oh, it's always in my head when people say it. So I'm it's trying like, to find uh, my other tweet, DZ. Sorry, real quick. Because that one was a reply to this tweet from one of our friends. So it was uh, Nico Plays, Nico DG. Uh, <laughs> wait, DG? Yeah. So he said, I just saw Harold on the Sea Games 2019 esports opening live stream. And I was like, I know, I know the shot he's talking about because I had a clear shot. I had a shot where my face was actually seen, and you know you could see like most of my body, because uh, I was sitting kind of like where MP, uh, <laughs> former Game Byte guest, uh, the Emperor of, of GDAP, was standing. I was kind of there, so you could see my face and everything. But I was like, no, nah, man, I, I gotta take my shot. I got, I gotta make this funny, uh, this moment funny. So I did my Mike Wazowski thing, but I, there is a shot. I swear, there's a shot where you could see my face, and sure. I was, I was legitimately on TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay it's so funny how you were we were all like what i mean even though obviously you were i mean because it was blocked but we were all like mike was asking in the movie we were just like harold you're on tv <laughs> <laughs> that we're all, was we all awesome. <laughs> like the mere fact that it's a meme it's like meme worthy that it happened is that even makes it better i wouldn't i would have preferred really? that <laughs> 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 and of course, yeah, I had to be witty. Right? I had oh, to say God. they definitely got my good side. So <laughs> yeah, I... of course, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> so oh, ten yeah, out of ten, and, uh, good meme. And if you guys can't read the, I don't think you can read the original tweet. My original reply, I said, 
I was hoping standing adjacent to GAD meant the, the camera would, would be away from me. I, I was joking that, you know, because the focus would be on her, you know, this wouldn't mm -hmm. be seen. But, you know, yeah. apparently you can tell my body from, from the shape. <laughs> <laughs> that that ain't no that ain't no PBA star. That's a gamer right there. <laughs> That's a nerd. <laughs> Look at nerd. Up, hey, hey, hey. Not a bad that thing. That guy lives in Azeroth. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen him. He's kind of blind. <laughs> Not deaf. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, looking into the chat real quick. Man, we're, we're, we're burning a lot of time just through memes. Uh, looking into the chat real quick, uh, Tags is saying, uh, Alta Gumpai is saying Biochem? So he's either studying oh, right no. now for, for, for no. med school or he's playing a game called Biochem. Oh, nope. my nope. He's referring to god. me. <laughs> he's talking oh, about me. <laughs> my god. <laughs> because yeah, we're running no. out of time, we have to save it for the after show, but I will talk about it. But oh, okay, okay. my god. You, I'm, say, I'm hyping it up now because people in chat will love this. So we have to wait okay. for the after show for it. Uh, all right, okay. sure, fair enough. <laughs> all right. And uh, Denanti saying that he totally misses the legal copies, the extra legal copies from Green Hills too, DZ. So, you know, for the people in the <sighs> south, you had ruins. For the people slightly uh, up to the middle and north, you had uh, Green Hills. So yeah, definitely, definitely love yeah. Green Hills. Yeah, man, this is it's, it's iconic for us. Clothes, video games, cell phones. What else could you want? Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Real quick, guys, let's get to what we've been playing, and then we'll 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 talk to Ram. We'll talk about Ram a little more because we have him on. We, we got to take advantage. Daisy, what have you been playing? Okay, I don't know if you guys heard about this game where you play a bunch of jelly beans, but yeah, okay, I'm sure you guys heard this. I have been playing Fall Guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ, have I? This is the this is the way I describe it. Okay, this is probably the best way to describe it. It's Mario Party without the the, the chessboard. Without the party. It's Mario okay. Party without. The Mario, it's just the party. <laughs> because yeah, it's, it's just a bunch of mini games. And, and heck, it's a battle royale. <laughs> That's a Takeshi's Castle battle royale. Dude, I know it's I looks amazing, uh, and I'm I'm yeah. so excited to play it, to try and play it with you guys because yeah, it's it's Wipeout. If you guys uh, yeah, have seen Wipeout, it's, wipe it's Ninja <laughs> Warrior. It's 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 mainly Wipeout, but it's 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 awesome. It's fun, yeah. and it's Man. um. Here's the thing, like it's 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 made by Devolver. It's Devolver Digital published it, and it's I think Mecha Studio that uh, developed it. So like uh -huh. when I found, it, I was like, wow, it's these guys who made this. Like, man, like I wish I, because I've always known that Devolver and uh, Devolver at least as a publisher was pretty good. So like I never, so now like I'm sold, I'm completely sold with Devolver. Like Francis on chat, we we've, we've talked in our gatherings a few yep. times. Always so told me about how good Devolver is. Like now I am totally convinced. I'm totally convinced. Uh, with how well they handle their IPs. Um, <laughs> this is where I scream. <laughs> yeah, like, um, sorry, I was watching the Twitch video. But yeah, like, uh, Fall Guys is, has been nothing but fun. Um, and I think, here's the thing. We were talking about this off air. It might be a game that is kind of like a fad now, but I feel like it'll survive long enough, long, if, if, they really go gung ho with with cosmetics because I know that they're partnering we're up with Cyberpunk, so they're gonna have yeah. Cyberpunk skins. And like I honestly like oh my god I know I I know I I know I don't like I have my my values where I don't <laughs> like DLC and I don't like buying stuff from the market and all that. But like oh my god if like they come up with a God of War skin a Master Chief skin I will so on that. Oh you're you're gonna pick that up you're gonna eat that yeah. one right up. <laughs> because, because, but that's because. But the one thing is because I put the chip always said, because if I if I think the game is worth it, the game is good. If I believe in the game, I will support it. And that's what I do. I support. That's what I believe. I support. I believe this game will become huge, and it's fun. I just wish they had more. Like you can come up with a party of like ten, just four. I, I, but yeah. I think that even knowing them, they. The thing is, I think that these guys, the Mecha Studios, like really, um, really listening to their to their uh, to their fan base. They really listen yeah. to the feedback and like people want that. People want a bigger parties. They want more cosmetics and like bigger servers because because the game became so popular. <laughs> people had a hard time logging in. Yeah. But yeah, that's Man. all I've been playing. That's all I've been playing. I don't want to see uh, like new new maps or like whatever modes. Whatever yes, they yes, yeah. yes, yes. They have to come up with more maps. Yeah. I'm sure that, they will. That and public uh, lobbies. 
public Pri- private private. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, sorry, Mediatonic Mecha Studio. What the hell am I talking about? Media uh, Mediatonic Layo <laughs> Grab. No, I'm talking, as, long, as long as you redact it right away, you know, as long as we don't get caught. They, they both start with an M. It's fine. Yeah, there was an M yeah. there. Yes. Mediatonic's Mediatonic. That's the that's the, yeah. the the studio that developed it. Devolver Digital is the publisher. So, yeah. Yeah. Me- right. Megasonic, uh, Supersonic. Rocket powered b- battle cars. Battle cars. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> All right, Elgin. What have you? been playing buddy uh so uh just a couple of games um so i recently finished um so on 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 my stream uh twitch.tv slash elder gen um i recently finished (laughs) uh, i recently finished dark souls again um except with a twist i um i finished the game at level one i basically started the character from level one and finished it at level one and it was painful it made dark souls feel like dark souls again but the big game (laughs) The big game that I've been really playing lately is this uh, new, well, relatively new game that came out about last year called uh, Fantasy Strike. And why it became so prevalent is because it's actually free to play now. So if you are unaware of what um, Fantasy Strike is, um, what is the, okay, when I say easiest fighting game in the world, what's the first thing that comes to mind to you guys? Like just real quickly, off the top of your head. Ironically, uh, Star Wars, Masters of Terras Kasi. But but that's because okay. it's a difficult game to play. <laughs> All right, everyone else. The easiest what? Or the easiest what? Fighting game. Think, think of the easiest fighting game. Okay. All, all, all fighting games are hard for me, so. <laughs> okay. So I guess the answer I was fishing for was dive kit. And see, that game is just two buttons. You jump oh, or you kick, yeah, right? I heard about that. Okay. I was going to say, you're fishing so, in the wrong lake, sir. <laughs> I, I figured. Um, anyway, so Dive Kick is supposed to be the easiest fighting game that it's so simple you can press with two buttons. And then there's all these other fighting games which are way more complex. Fantasy Strike is basically what's trying to be in between all of that. So fight, uh, Fantasy Strike is the most easily, easily the most accessible fighting game I've ever played. Ooh. But don't take that as it being a simple, like a simple fighting game. It's incredibly deep. Like easily one of the deepest fighting games i've played in a long time despite the fact that you literally have three buttons one button says punch and two buttons say do cool shit you know so huh? it's it's awesome <laughs> seriously seriously uh, there's there's probably like a throw like you can you can map a throw button you can map a special button but the idea is punch and two special buttons and it's just it's really fun like i strongly recommend you guys try it out it's free to play and yeah, I, I'm sure you guys will have a pretty good time on that one. All the characters are free right at launch. Um, and the only thing you pay for is if you want to get the full game or cosmetics, if you care for that. So yeah, good game. I strongly recommend you guys try it if you like fighting games. So yeah. Ooh, throw a link in the chat, man. I want to check that out. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, Absolutely. Speaking of the chat, Francis just said the, the people from Mediatonic uh, were also the people who made Hato... Hato full boyfriend, according to Gwen, oh. uh, our buddy Gwen. And, oh yes. Uh, my fondest memory of Hato full boyfriend is not because I played it, because I didn't, uh, is because I watched Word. a bunch of people watch Maria Ozawa live stream her <laughs> gameplay of Hato full boyfriend back in the day, and is that she, she actually, she's actually really yeah, good. Yeah. I think so. She was really good at it. She was really good at uh, yeah. at describing the game, and she had this radio personality that did nothing for the stream. Unfortunately, he was supposed to be like the accessible one, but he ended up just yeah. sounding clueless. Uh, but Maria was really good. Like she could have done that on her own and would have been like I, I th- she could be a good streamer. I don't know if she streams now, but I remember she was she's very engaging as a streamer. Uh, but yeah, I, thanks for asking, guys. What I've been playing recently, uh, I've, I've I've dived a little bit back in in, a, uh, in a Overwatch, but I've also played you know the the usual. Uh, game or two of sports game, uh, FIFA 20, a sports game, the the game for people who can't go out in sport, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, it's it's never been more relevant now. I, I know a lot of people uh, rag on sports games mainly because of how scummy they can be, but you know, sometimes you just sometimes you just want to kick a ball and you can't. You can't go outside right now. So. You know, it's pretty funny. Um, with with NBA, it, it went back without the, without the audience, right? When I, yep. when I first saw clips of the of the games, I'm like, is this is this NBA 2 be funny? <laughs> so something about the lights and, and and the stadium lights and everything made it look like exactly like the game. Oh wow! Interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. The, the NBA, man, uh, might also help that they have like digital fans, like right now. Like, in the <laughs> yeah. <bubble. laughs> yeah, I think that's that's a thing. That's a feature. I think that that NBA uh, fans will have if you subscribe to their their service thing. Yeah. Wow. Is that right? It, huh? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> And weird, yeah, but that's... cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but actually, that's... it's pretty cool, right? Like getting people—it's actually yeah. getting people engaged. So it's not—it's yeah. not the scummiest yeah. thing. Like I'm—I'm I'm surprised. Sports leagues tend to tend to pull some weird, yeah, some weird stuff. So it's actually not yeah. bad. Huh. Kudos to you, National Basketball Association of America. <laughs> Game bite approves. Okay. Uh, is anyone else letting us know what they've been playing in uh, in the chat? DZ, uh, Elgin, is anyone else? Someone in chat yeah, did say something. I'm just oh, Shill Fox said that. he actually just finished playing Fall Guys just now. We got we got to play a couple rounds oh. together, Shill Fox. Right, right. Right. I need yeah, to pick that play. game up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was I was playing that the other day, like, uh, but then I think when I was playing it, you, Derek, and Wancho were playing Overwatch. Mmm. Yeah, and you didn't even invite us to play Fall Guys. You were just like, oh, you guys are playing Overwatch. I can't right now. Bye. <laughs> Not even uh. Oh, I'm playing oh, Fall Guys. Damn. You guys want to join? <laughs> No, no. Nah. <laughs> it's all good, DZ. Uh, oh, dude. It's all good. <laughs> well. Dang. Well, Dang. you know, I didn't want you on my team because play. you were on. Okay, here, I didn't want you on my team. Okay, that was the reason. <laughs> because Wancho was going to be part of that team. You know how you know, Wancho's not really that good of a gamer, you know? Like, oh my Ooh. god! Can someone Rats, clip that? <laughs> Rats is going to be Wancho. Just... Bro, Wancho. <laughs> I love you and all, but like, you know, I need a winning team, okay? You know, I'm as oh. strong as my weak link, so. <laughs> the hype is real. DZ, that showdown is heating up. DZ is calling Wancho out, people. Let's Whoa. get this going. Bruh. Oh, man. <laughs> Name your game, bro. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, someone in chat's uh, Simply Rocco says hello to Ram. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Peter? How are you doing? Oh man, and Francis has also given us uh, what he's been playing, DZ. So Francis is currently playing Animal Crossing, some Smash Ulti. Uh, some, he's been playing some Brigandine. And uh, he's also jumping to Final Fantasy XIV with Wancho and Derek? Oh. Oh man. Okay. Man. More and more I... of the QS crew getting into Final Fantasy, getting into Azoria. 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 Uh, I, got, I got one more also, one from one Eorzea. Yeah. Eorzea. I, I said Azeroth. Azori. Azor <laughs> <laughs> we can tell you're a WoW fan. We get it, Harold. <laughs> we get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daisy, you were saying. Um, Okay, so the... Yeah, I... Chat, CZ64, my brother in chat. Uh, he's also been streaming another game called Other Side. It's Other Side instead of a S for side, it's C. I, it's imagine uh, demonic. Ver it's it's an XCOM like game, you know, uh, isometric, uh, tactical based, whatever, tactical based uh, chessboard. But it's it's not sci-fi. It's more of goth, Diablo like um, aesthetic. Goth core. Sure. Okay. Right? Yeah. So like yes. Yeah, so what? Yeah. Go go go. What was that? No, I said gothic horror. Is that is that what you were looking for? Okay, yeah, it's pretty much a gothic horror, which but it looks cool. I mean, yeah. <laughs> if I'm right, let me double check what that is. I just I popped into a stream the other day. He was playing it. Yeah, so it's on Steam. It's a strategy game. Um, what else about it? It's it's developed by Lightbulb Crew. It's available on PS4, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, and of course PC. Publishers are Focus Home Interactive and LBC Games. Yes, yeah, it's it's, it's L and, LBC Games. LBC games, yeah. Dude, that is like their newest division I hear. They uh <laughs> <laughs> LBC. <laughs> the <record> to him. <laughs> Hari ng palaro. Like I <laughs> <laughs> they, they also deliver pretty good games now. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Most definitely, most definitely. <laughs> oh man. DZ I think DZ trying to recover from that one. Uh, that, that flew over his head. Stitches, man. <laughs> that flew over his head. Okay. But yeah, uh, that, that's. I lost my train of thought. I'm, I'm, I'm just linking. I'm just linking Wanto to the clip. Oh, Francis already did it. Francis already linked Wanto to the clip. Okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> the heat is on, people. The heat is on. Okay. 
So, uh, real quick, wrapping up what we've been playing. A lot of people are also mentioning, like, Simply Rock was saying he's been playing Valorant League. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's of Legends and not Rocket. Uh, and he started Destroy All Humans, the remake. Destroy All Humans remake. Uh, mm. Bemo's been playing Overwatch. Shil Fox has also corrected me in saying Eorzea Zeroth. Uh, and <laughs> let's see what else. I, I, know, I know I read one more person. Uh, oh, Francis said Marie Ozawa was better at Bro Force than Hatofo. I, I'm sure she's great at everything, actually, like all, all of those games. Uh, Francis say, is asking if it's deeper than Jump Force. I think Elgin that's referring to the game you were mentioning earlier. Fantasy Strike? I yes. mean, it's, it's going to be hard to say because, you know, the, the particle effects on Jump Force are pretty good. But other than that, I mean, I, I can't say for sure. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I mean, of course it is. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, I think that's about it. Let us know. Keep letting us know what you guys have been playing over the past few days and weeks and months in quarantine and lockdown and at your leisurely time. As we continue to go through the show, we can read them out. So hit us up. And if we if you don't do it during the show or if you listen to this on Spotify, Google Play, iTunes, and everywhere else you can get our podcast, uh, tweet, tweet us at Quit Stalling Us or message us on the Discord. All right, guys. Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Let's, let's talk to Ram. I think it's time. We haven't done the the interview bumper in a while, and I don't know if it still works. There, there might be some rust on it, so let's let's check. Let's check. Is this it? Welcome to the end, friend. Oh, apparently the volume on that is broken. But well, welcome, <laughs> welcome, Ram. <laughs> and our interview with Ram is brought to you guys by an ad from Quit Stalling. Because who else is going to put money into this? Guys, check out the Quit Stalling Geekcast on Spotify, on YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are procured. Quit Stalling Geekcast stars me, Harold Sylvester, and of course, Derek Sensei Humor O'Brien, and the chosen Juan Wancho Soldana, who uh, DZ is just so kindly and bitterly insulted at the same time uh, over his gaming prowess. Check us out as we talk about all things geek and pop culture on sundays live on twitch one in the afternoon here in manila saturday night 9 p.m west coast time so rem this is the part of the show where we uh we kind of talk to you we want to put the spotlight on this wonderful mane of yours and that on on on, on that goatee and the, oh man the, the stunning pink glasses we want to get to know oh, you a nice. little more and we want to get uh get, figure out a little you know get some insight Get some insight. Sure. On uh, who Ram is and what makes Ram Ram. Uh, who wants Who wants to start us <laughs> off? Who wants to start Who wants to start us off? Uh, I, I feel like uh, DZ is, is preoccupied. Elden, you got any questions to kick us off? Or you want to? Uh... <laughs> uh, please, please have at it, Harold. You're the host. Ram is Ram your actual name or is that a pseudonym? <laughs> oh, <God>. Pseudonym. <laughs> it's actually my nickname. Oh, okay. Uh, I've had it since I was born. Um... It was actually because my dad is into cars, so my older brother is named Dodge, and I'm Ram. So, oh. Dodge? Wow, that's so cool! But Ram is really cool too, I have to say. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and what, sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't go back from that. Like, I found Dodge really cool. It's like shit. This might be like I'm not saying Ram is cool. Like, uh -oh. both honestly, <laughs> admittedly, really cool names. Yeah. Uh, do you have any other siblings like Durango or nah, uh, just the, just the the <laughs> my, my sister un unfortunately isn't named after a car oh okay but I think she was supposed to be but you know I think a brand got it or something I don't know I forget oh okay okay yeah I hate it when when brands get your name before you yeah the, yeah kind of <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> always yeah. a pain you gotta pay those licensing fees yeah, okay dude. So Ram, uh, I I I do not remember how we met, but I do remember that every time we meet, it's like, yeah, it's like we always say like, oh, we we gotta talk some more, we gotta we gotta yeah, we gotta actually. jam, we gotta we gotta we gotta hang out, and we've never been able to until the lockdown and COVID happened, and it's unfortunate because I really wanted to spend some some quality some QT time with you, some quality time, yeah, all right, some ATM True. machine, uh, but. I, I I have a question that's kind of been uh, deep in the back of my mind that I've been meaning to ask you when we, when we've been able to sit down. So, okay. uh, in terms of 
what you would call yourself in, in the industry. You know, you saw the promo. I, I, I labeled yeah. you as a journalist, as a writer. Yep. But you, Ram Ron Killer, you yourself, what would you consider yourself as? Or what would you label yourself as if, if we were going to play the label game? I think I'm, I'm all right as a like, writer and a journalist. Um, there aren't many, um, I think, writers and journalists in the Philippines, especially in gaming. But mm -hmm. f f funnily enough, I've, I've kind of strayed away from gaming as far as writing goes. Because uh, this year, I left GG. GG um, Network, yes. Yeah. Where, where I used to write, where I've written for like, what, five years? Um, now I work for, I, I write for Gadget Filipinas, which is a tech site. So I've slightly shifted from, um, from gaming to tech. Uh, I kind of write a bit for uh, the new a new website, uh, onemoregame.ph, which is more uh, local gaming and and uh, mostly uh, consoles. So so yeah, but I, I'm a, there's nothing wrong with like writer journalist. Like, I I guess what I won't take is probably blogger. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I mean, shade yeah. being thrown. Wow. Yeah. So, no, no. Cause, cause, I can understand that though. <laughs> I mean, there's the usual stigma, but but I don't think I'm a blogger because like I started, I didn't write for a blog, right? Mm -hmm. and, yeah, makes sense. And and I think most blogs now are considered sites, so you could just be can see you can just be called a, a writer, right? So mm -hmm. I don't I don't see the difference. So a, a writer, I mean, it's easier to explain to people that you're a writer or, or like you know. A journalist rather than a blogger. Fair point. That is, that is like, that, yeah. yeah, that does make that is practical. Yeah. Yeah. Sense. Pretty much, because with especially with online jobs, it's so hard to explain to people uh, these things. Oh um, really? Yeah, yeah. Because uh, like uh, reunions, uh, people ask me when I was with DJ, like, what do you write about? And it's like, oh, uh, I write for DJ Network. Uh, it's a gaming and esports website, and like, oh, what, what do you do there? So it's like, oh god, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Did you just say uh, you wrote? No. You didn't. You're a writer. You're a journalist. <laughs> no, I actually say it's, I just write for for website ah, okay. online. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Just, just to still... simplify it, it, it it's easier yeah. that way because it's not traditional. It's not. Yes. It's it's not like you know, hey, I'm an engineer, and everyone knows what an engineer does. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Sure. Or like, I work in an agency, which is you know. Everyone knows that, but if, if I say like yeah. I'm, I'm a blogger, it's like, what does that mean? You know? Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. I, I mean, I can imagine like, you know, part of the reason why you're averse to it is I can imagine anybody can just be a blogger, but it yeah. takes a special kind of someone to be a journalist. You know, you have to go to school for that. I'd imagine anyway. So. Yeah, there's a lot of integrity that goes with that. The, the, the funny, yes. the funny thing is, I didn't, I didn't even, uh, I didn't finish journalism or any course. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I actually finished music production in in uh, CSB. Whoa! Kind of the same thing. Yeah. But so, you know, yeah. No. So how 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 did the jump happen? That, that's uh, you know, that, that's kind of opposites and ends. Yeah, it's it, it's quite the story. But in, in a nutshell, like after I graduated, I already didn't know what what you know. I wanted you know the usual fresh grad kind of thing, and you Been there, went buddy. into college. Yeah, yeah. You, you enter college, like, what, what, what do we want? And then, you know. So I, I took on a job, um, I think in TV5, a social media uh, person. Ooh. And then and then I resigned uh, probably a year after my uh, friends that used to work in the, that I worked with before in TV5 were like, hey, we need a writer. Uh, would, would you be willing to uh, take the job? I'm like, you know what? I, I'm, I think I'm, I'm willing to... I decided to give it a go, despite my writing mostly just being in school and that kind of stuff. Um, since you know, they they said they were willing to like teach me the ropes and all that because pretty much writing is is like a lot of it you learn in school. Yes. Uh, so it, it really wasn't too hard for me. So yeah, that's excellent. So. Uh... Have you done creative writing or has it always been journalism? Have you ever done any uh, different type of writing on the side? I actually haven't tried the creative writing. Although there are times where, when I kind of want to write a story, but once I try it, it's just too much. 
also high to will work for games and call it in chat. <laughs> hey, what's up, Martin? <laughs> Hi, Colin. Hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. we're grilling your man here. Let us let us know if you have any questions. <laughs> so, uh, will work for games is actually one. agreeing <laughs> with you. Oh, okay. These uh, real quick. Uh, yeah, World sure. Work for Games is actually agreeing with you. He's saying that you know, saying writer is a lot easier since it sets the right expectations. Yeah, uh, absolutely. When you say writer, there's a little prestige there. There's a little yeah. uh, mental image already uh, yeah. that, that, that sets a tone. But when you say blogger, you know, you think of a person behind a computer. Uh, and like Elgin said, the unfortunate stigma of the fact, and like you said, Ram, that you know they're just anybody. So. Yeah. Yeah, it really does set the right tone. DZ, hit us with some questions. Okay, here. Um, of course, when you're going to write, um, and yeah, like you said, you've worked for companies. You've wrote, written for companies. Um, and I'm sure that these companies... Okay, let me start with the premise of the question. Would it be better, or how do you balance writing, on the, uh, writing for the companies or sounding like you're writing for the company or sounding like you're writing for yourself? In that, in a sense, that it's like this because I know when you when you're gonna write for a company, they have a certain tone, they have a certain tonality when they wanna talk to their audience. But the thing is, um, you wanna stand out as a writer in it of, it of yourself. You can't because if you just write like everyone else, no one's gonna remember you. So how do you balance sounding different but un but following the guidelines of what a website or the company you're working for has in terms of tone? Is that? Do you want to simplify the question a bit more? I might have no, said too much. That's an excellent question. No, I, I think I got it. Um, okay. Interestingly enough, I think I've I've written the, for the two sites I've written for. Um, there isn't much of a, a strict guideline for as far as like how I should sound. Okay. So I've been able to. I, I think I'd like to think that I write like how I sound, but I just write the way I I, I think I should write and. Uh, Thankfully, well, I think it, those kinds of those kind of um, guidelines, the, the the tone and things are are more for bigger websites, I think. Okay. Mm, okay. So, so like okay. for the Kotakus or the uh, I don't know IGNs. Or, so you don't find Kotaku. yourself needing to write in a certain voice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, al oh, although that's good. There, there was a time where I I, I kind of wanted to. Uh, learn that kind of skill, but you know the 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 two websites I've written for. Thankfully, they're like you know just, just write however you want to. It's like, okay, as as long as you need it, it's grammatically correct and like you know you're not spreading fake news and all that. That's, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, yeah. Girls yeah. are given, yeah. yeah, yeah. We heard Ubisoft but, Philippines is laying off all their female workers, like <laughs> yeah, like. Oh, that's fake news. Yeah, wow. yeah. That's yeah. extreme, but yeah. <laughs> the, the I tried to pick the that... most fake newsy headline that's so good. that everyone would understand. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. the, the funny thing with that is like I don't think I'll I'll ever be willing to write that kind of stuff and have my name connected to, to that type. Mm -hmm. like if, if I was gonna write something like that, I'd, I'd want probably a, a generic name attached. Okay, I don't know. Um, writing, I think, has a lot of integrity with it. Like once, once you, once you slip up once, I think you gotta have to like build up that integrity again. So yeah, yeah, yeah of course. So I oh, think that makes sense. I, I find it really hard how people are able to write those kinds of articles and still have their name there. It's like how. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Which actually leads me to my next question because, you know, the the literacy rate. Uh, as well as the attention span of modern generations is getting a lot of flack uh, yeah. with, 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 you know, some, with, with some cause for concern. You know, it, it is a little bit of a cause for concern these days. Yeah. And, you know, you, you end up getting things like clickbaity titles and, and people who don't read past the headlines. So as a writer, how do you deal with that? How is that? Uh, how does that reflect on the industry as well? Well, more, more so, like, how do you deal with that? How do you yourself uh, deal with it? I, I think because, well, especially more recently, I've been writing like news uh, snippets. So I try not to go beyond like 500 words. Okay. I try to, I think most websites follow, follow this now where you, you know, you know how like you're in school, you like follow, you write big chunks of paragraphs and stuff. Yeah. 
definitely uh, not the right way to do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah oh yeah, my yeah. god, thesis. Yeah. <laughs> Research papers. God damn it. <laughs> no, no, even like, even like the essays, the the stuff you turn in in school is like big chunks of blocks and stuff. Yeah, um, yeah. I've I've had to learn to uh, go against it and just go like, like literally a paragraph for me could be like one one full sentence and go to the next one because I think it's easier to to read that way. Yeah, uh, no, agreed, yeah. definitely. Because yeah. e- even myself as a reader, uh, if I see a big block text, like oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it's just how it is. Um, I think the the shift has gone from like reading to to like uh, video consumption. Yeah. There there, there will still be people that read, which is great for me, and other mm-hmm. people that that write. But the the shift is definitely there. That mo- like, even myself, I on my spare time, I usually watch a lot of videos. Yeah, mo- more than read. So, and so, and yeah. how do you feel about those videos that have text in them? spread across like a three minute span and it's really just making you read like you know lines upon lines this is like and... lat bible stuff <laughs> right right yeah, it's it's like it's and then they have like stock footage it... yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and the generic music yes oh yeah the guitar <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, but those those work because some people like when they browse i think that's a, like a human like because when you browse through Facebook, some people don't have the music on. Yeah. So they right, ha- and there's yes. no and like, it's practice is pretty much a subtitle. So you know, it's, it's that kind of thing. I yeah. think it depends what kind of text videos you're you you're referring to. If it's a kind that that work as subtitles, it's fine. But if it's the, you know, you you, you uh, top ten whatever, and it's like <laughs> all, all text, like Jesus Christ, like Watch Mojo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Or, or no, no, not the, not even because Watch Mojo has, has VO. voiceovers, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 it does. Yeah. It's it's those other clickbaity videos on, on YouTube that you know most, when you click on, on, them, Facebook. on Facebook. Mostly on Facebook. Actually, yeah. yes, mostly yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> but but for like stuff like that, I find it annoying because I usually like watching videos like and have it on on the side. So like, I just want something to listen to. So it's, yeah. Like, and, and there's just stuff that I'm actually li- li- interested in and want to consume in such a small span. So like, if if I see text, I'm like, come on, man, <laughs> <laughs> just read it already. <laughs> yeah, just no, read it right. for me. I'm yeah, playing yeah. here. <laughs> That's why I'm watching yeah. a video. Okay, now that, that makes total <laughs> sense. And you know, while we're on the topic of journalism and writing, uh, there, there's. There's been fair and unfair criticism for journalists throughout the ages. You know, it's uh, it's just something that comes inherent <laughs> to the job, right? When it comes to certain topics, especially. So as someone who's been writing and reporting for years now, what is the most unfair knock to people in your field, in your industry, in your yeah, line of work uh, that you've seen or have you, that you've been a part of? I can't think of any. <laughs> oh, oh wow! Is it because you haven't been That's exposed good. to anything, or is it because, uh, you can, yeah, is is it because there's too many? Like, <laughs> like uh, oh, I'm, I'm genuine. I'm genuinely curious. Like, how was the local <laughs> feedback for writers? Fair. Do they end up blaming the 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 mm-hmm. parent site? Like, that, that's genuinely what I'm what I'm curious about. What's interesting is I think because um, I write mostly about like tech and and. Um, gaming it's not as bad as like the, the mainstream kind of writers that's surprising because uh I, I haven't i haven't received anything anything bad or i haven't mm-hmm. seen anything that that's alarmed me or like had had uh my bosses go hey ram like what do you do <laughs> what, what what did you do look, look at this comment what did you do <laughs> <laughs> that's, has yeah. that happened no, no, no. I, that's okay. the thing. I, I, I haven't, I haven't received anything, so okay. I don't think I've gone through anything like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. In yeah. that case, I got one. I just thought of it now. because of what Harold said. Harold, that was yeah. a really good question, Ham. Yeah, it really was. You, I was like, you. oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. Here, was there ever? Okay, has there? Ever... Okay, wait. Let's put it like this. Are you ever afraid to write, let's say, about a product? And it sucks. 
Ooh. Are you afraid to be brutally honest <laughs> and say that, okay, this product is horrible, do not buy it. Have you ever, like, written about one and have, or in the future, are scared to write because you know how some people nowadays are like, oh, it's because he doesn't like it, blah, 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 blah. they'll get, they'll hate you for it. Anyway, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, currently, with my current website, thankfully, um, the my the, the owner of the site has is a staunch believer that uh, we will will the article, the reviews that we'll send out are, will be as honest as, as we can. So it's great. Okay, it, we'll, we'll probably re- rephrase it in, in a way that you know it's not super bad. Like you, not you, like how I did it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, like what? Sorry. Wow. <laughs> Not like how I said it. Like this sucks. Oh, this product's horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there, there's a way of writing it. Like you, you can you can say that you know this this device needs better like this or better like that or like you mm-hmm. know like phrase it in in a bit more uh, cons- with more uh, in a bit more like constructive criticism rather than just strict, flat out saying mm-hmm. bad stuff. Mm-hmm. So I, I think. I think there there's a right there's a balance for for, the, for that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not I'm not afraid to to say something is bad because I I personally I I personally don't I'm very particular with, with my stuff. Okay. Um, like I, I don't I don't buy a lot of stuff. Like I can, I'm I can say when stuff are like too expensive or like that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. Mm-hmm. So as as long as the the website I'm writing for supports that kind of thing, I think I'm I'm good because I I don't think I'll be willing to sell out. <laughs> yeah. In in the, in, in, in the lack of a better term, under uh, your own name, I think we established yeah. that you you would if you had a pseudonym. <laughs> you know. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. And, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just the ransom dude is more than willing to, you know, <laughs> the, splash the, the bucks for, the, the, for a favorable a good, review. There, there's a good, there's a good name. <laughs> Just the ransom dude. Just the ransom dude. Man. Okay, uh, Elgin, do you have any questions for Ram at the moment? Uh, yeah, just a couple. Like, I, I guess my first, my first one's gonna be a pretty simple lowball one. Like, what are what are some of the things you really enjoy writing about, as far as like your like like what are things um that really you know interest you as far as you know writing about them is concerned yeah it, it's quite it's an interesting question because i've always uh, enjoyed writing in general and uh, um i've written about stuff that I, I had no idea about like uh like more recently i've written about cameras and like printers and that kind of stuff and i have no idea what those are <laughs> but but the but for me it's like whenever even if i don't enjoy it as long as i learn from it that's cool um i remember with uh gg network i wrote articles about like shenway three i think or like two Ooh, and, and then okay. i wrote about uh i think the witcher i think it was I, I've, I've okay i've written articles where i had no idea what i was writing about and i, I le- wow. legitimately had to do my research and and for some strange reason like i enjoyed i enjoyed that um i remember writing the witcher article i think i, I was a message friend or like uh is this is this so are, are these are these um are these moments a good a, a good a selection of moments of that cover witcher and that kind of stuff so it's like it's it's interesting for me to to learn about new stuff. So there's no specific uh, topic, but I, I generally do prefer I, I do enjoy writing like esports and in gaming in general. I've written a lot of those, yeah. um, especially in events like sea games. Like it's it's when when you're in the in you when you're at events like gaming events and stuff like that. They're just the strange and adrenaline that I that I I just enjoy. Uh-huh. And it just yeah. keeps me going. It's like, let's go, I gotta write this, gotta write this. <laughs> yeah. G- gotta get it get it out as soon as I can. Um that that I did that as well for um what was what was the fighting game event here? Uh Rev Major. Yeah. Rev Major twenty nineteen, <laughs> yeah. There's there's a day that I was writing like three articles or something. Like, oh wow! Go. Go. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, 
or like sea games where I was, I was literally on my toes the entire the entire event and hardly had time to rest. I mean, it's it's hella tiring, and at the end of the day, if you don't get um, it, if people don't, if like for me personally, if if I don't get recognized for it, or at least someone saying like okay, you know good job, it, it's really it's gonna drain me a lot, but. Um, at the end of the day, like it's just really exciting for me to, to be at the event and, and do that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so my next question. Uh, okay. Let Let's say you know you you find yourself like uh, let's say you're not you've you've never written an article before for X Y Z company and you you fancy yourself as having you know good enough writing talent. Um, what would it take for someone who has never worked for a company before to actually get their foot in the door in those companies? So that's a that's a good question. Um, <laughs> Just laying it on you thick, Ram. Right? Oh, We're yeah. trying yeah, yeah. to maximize oh, our yeah. time with you. It, it's actually cool because I usually do the interviews with people. So getting questions ah. like these are like, oh, huh. it's refreshing. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Actually, getting into companies actually, actually depends. I don't think I'm the right person to, to ask this because I've only really written for two for two companies. And, okay. And both of them were because, well, the first one was because I knew people, they were the ones that they were starting it. And right. the second one, we're also friends. That, and I, I just told them, I like I told them I heard you you need a writer, and you know I'm I'm I'm, I'm free I'm 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 down to write for you guys. If okay. You want, so so if I could reframe the question for you, what would you look for in a new hire when you when you have a open position or if you're looking to fill up a a slot in your writing Ooh. squad? <laughs> yeah, that's I mean I, that's a pretty good way to put it too. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, I, I think the first would be like grammar, like of course. <laughs> no, because like there are people that you know just don't aren't mindful with their grammar, and and it just happens so often. You're like, oh my god, what is this? Really? Yeah. Please stop or or like. <laughs> Why wow, has it gotten that bad? Where you're just like, hey, <laughs> no, 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 but but like there 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 are people like there are people that write that have that don't necessarily have good grammar I'm like oh wh wh why am I reading this <laughs> <laughs> like and and I think that's quite that's that's important because that you know yeah with, with anything basics is is a lot you know and, I agree I agree and you know you can you can get someone or like you know try to motivate someone if they lack the motivation or like you know uh, whatever. If they don't have the basic, it's kind of you're you're gonna have to teach them that, which is kind of tough. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I, I understand are... that. Yeah, yeah, I understand that because like part of it is one the basics and two, really immersing yourself in the culture, because yeah, right. being able to like we said write in a certain voice and understand the demographic you're writing to, you know the language they would use, you know like you could write about video games, but if you don't know a certain degree of lead speak. It's gonna be difficult, right? It's gonna it's yeah. it's gonna be hard to relate. It, you could write in English, but if you uh, about music, but if you haven't been exposed to that subgenre or that subculture, you're gonna you're gonna stand out like a sore thumb. So I, I totally agree with, with that, and it, it, it's it's something that I guess people really take for granted when it comes to writing because they just think, yeah, I, I learned to write, that's it. But yeah. you really have to pay attention to a lot of minutia, a lot of minute things that end up adding up uh and that's what makes a really good article i i i really i really agree with that uh yeah. and you know i want to transition a little a little bit i know we're we're pushing for time dz we're gonna we're gonna run through a couple more questions real quick and then maybe maybe we'll tackle one or two news bits but you know ram you've been working around esports and video games and you know especially around the c games competitive video games as well as being an avid video game lover yourself uh, my, I, I guess my next question is, is there an eSport that you feel has been criminally uh, overlooked and neglected for one reason or another? 
Criminally neglected. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I, I don't know, because I'm, I'm really not into a lot of competitive games, especially uh, recently. Mm -hmm. um, Even in the past, you know, it doesn't have to be something recent. It, it, it could be something that you thought, oh, this, this should have had uh, a supported scene. Yeah, but part of that also lies in the developers and how they how they handle the esports scene. Right? So it's kind yeah, of it's hard to think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because yeah. because there are a lot of good games with good communities and uh, and and great stuff, but the way the developers handle the game is horrible. So yeah, no, no matter how much support the game has from the community, the the game itself is is what should carry the game. The, the understood the thing. Mm -hmm. that, that makes perfect sense you know it might make you even want to riot from time to time am i right nice guess you're solo casting this <laughs> uh, hmm. uh harold has left the chat <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's well, here are my 10 cents on that. I mean, two cents, sorry. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. Oh, yeah, he's got five times. <laughs> five yeah, times. Yeah. Just... Very nice. All right, back, back to three of us now. <laughs> Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> anyway, that, was, that was well played. That was well played. Okay. So... What a rich guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's wow. <laughs> okay uh i i i have a feeling we have a couple more questions for ram but we're gonna reserve those for the next time he's on because we gotta we gotta leave him wanting more right ram really thank you for the insight that you've, that you've given in regards to journalism and, and video yeah. gaming and, and the local industry we do want to tackle one or two bits of news and dz and elgin uh we'll go through these real quick because we we are running a little late so guys pick one or two bits that you you, you want to get Ram's thoughts on, and of course the chat's thoughts on, and everyone at home. Uh, what, what's what's relevant to now today? What's hot? okay? I got one. <laughs> Ram, why do you think Doctor Disrespect was banned from Twitch? <laughs> oh, 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 I mean, uh, I mean, come on. <laughs> we gotta we gotta poke that bear. We gotta poke. Do that. you have did thoughts he, on this, Ram? You you don't did, have to. Did, did you hear the rumors that he was probably starting a new platform? Yeah, yes. I heard about yeah, 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 with a uh, ninja yeah. and supposedly yeah. Yeah. with ninja There's and shroud. So right? much yeah. rumors. And, I mean, if if that rumor was like true and they if they actually launched, that would make a lot of sense to me. It's like when when I heard that, then I'm like, okay, that would make sense for Twitch to ban them. I mean, sure, but true. I, I legit don't know. And I don't think they've released anything, right? Because it's illegal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, Doc went There's back on YouTube, NBA. but and he said that they haven't told him why. Yeah. And and yes. uh, I think um on chat a riff screamer says that Shroud just went back on Twitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Subject. Subject. Yeah, so it's like yeah, like it, it's I wanna it know, is... I'm so I'm itching to know why. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna have to wait for the ten ten part Netflix documentary five years from now. Right? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> and it's just and it's just a gif of a gas station and everyone's gonna be watching it anyway. <laughs> and ten part two, two seasons. <laughs> Ten yes. point two seasons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh got, gotta God. make that money. Oh, dude, yeah. for real though. Gotta, These guys gotta, have... gotta, gotta milk. Gotta milk. That's, that's, experts, that's, and that's one yeah. thing I actually appreciate about those guys is they've stuck to the guns. They've made their own path in a very crowded space. You know, we, we right. we've done this yeah. for years, and we we could only hope to eventually attain that level of success. But those guys have done it consistently. So there's something mm -hmm. there, right? As you can say what they, what you want about them as, as people, uh, and 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 what, you know, what dealings they've had, especially with Doc. But the fact that they have been on that grind is, you know, is respectable. So yeah, like it's, it's interesting. I, I, I must about. say, they really did, they they really did stick to their guns because they're all FPS players. No. <laughs> 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 on, on the note of guns, you know. 
Because <laughs> yeah. I remember the chat earlier. Yeah, uh, yeah I remember the chat earlier. Someone, <laughs> yeah, you know, someone mentioned you like inserting puns into all yeah. of your articles. I, <laughs> I, I actually don't. That's the funny thing. When I'm when I'm actually working and like serious, puns don't. Yeah. Puns are the least, last thing I'd, I'd think of. So like when I'm mm. when I'm streaming myself, like most people say, oh, you should do puns, but I'm like, yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to think of like content and like trying to entertain people so i don't think of puns unless there's mm -hmm. actually someone in chat that that you know it says something that i suddenly think of something uh that's when puns come out but otherwise i'm like you know i'm, I'm just nothing because <laughs> because mm -hmm. you know these puns are artisanal they're they're made on the spot <laughs> handcrafted, okay. handcrafted. Uh... <laughs> specifically for that moment you're bespoke yes. for the moment. Yes, oh. agreed. Agreed. Uh, Bebo in the chat <laughs> says, since Shroud and Ninja were going to have comebacks, Dr. D had to leave first so he could have his own comeback too right after. So, Oh my god. Okay. His comeback it was feels... amazing though. Dude, it feels yeah. like a work, right? It feels like we're being worked a little bit here. You know? <laughs> it's, of it's slowly becoming WWE uh, stuff. Yeah. Slowly. It's yeah. irrelevant, guys. They, they, they gotta do their promos, yeah. Yeah, but man, for real, right? like, <laughs> spicy. I have one last, just quick. This is for all of you, okay? Like, because, okay, you know how when Mixer bought Ninja, Ninja and Shroud, right? Hoping you can't that own people nowadays, DZ. <laughs> okay, fine. They paid them. They signed them. They employed them to stream on their platform. But that didn't bring the numbers, the ecosystem of viewers that they wanted the Mixer. Now here's the thing, YouTube does have that ecosystem, and now that Sh uh, Doctor Disrespect is there. And he is arguably the best streamer in terms of, you know, the definition of a streamer. Sure, Shroud is a great player, but who's a better streamer, right? So you have Dr. D. Well, that, that's just my opinion. But then, so now with Bias. Dr. Disrespect on YouTube, who do you think, uh, do you think that can actually shift the paradigm? Do you think that can actually shift who is the top platform to stream now? I don't, I don't think so. Like, they mm -hmm. they tried it on Mixer, but mm -hmm. they didn't they didn't bring the views. Like they, they that's who you shut down. Okay. In in relation to the Mixer, by the way, did, did 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 they have a tagline or anything? We bought an in, we I think Doctor D gave them a tagline. He <laughs> paid millions of dollars for two thousand viewers. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> no no, because they they could they easily could have gone. Uh, you gotta mix it up as as a tagline. Oh my god, they should hide. They should... Oh There's an artisanal pun right there. Where oh, were you when they needed you? That's a good you? song. I, I was like, <laughs> they, just didn't, they just didn't call me. <laughs> gotta mix oh, it up. Man. Gotta ding, dude. Yeah. Oof. Mixer just gotta a... mix it up. You know? That's beautiful. That was beautiful. I don't know how ten. ownable that is, but that is it is catchy. It's very yeah. catchy. Right? Just yeah. pour money into yeah. that. If, if I see it, if I see it on if I see it online. I, I know who to hunt. I, the 15 <laughs> viewers and the three of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a I'm, screenshot of our viewer count now. I, I'm flattered count. that you think we have 15. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, Wait, we we're do. probably oh, skating gosh. on three. Yeah, we're probably skating on three right now. <laughs> I, I see 15 on, on my Twitch. On, 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 my, on, on the app, so. Oh, man. No, but I, yeah, know, like, I know to hunt down. <laughs> yeah, and, and to, th to I, think, I, you know. I mean... Yeah, blame, blame 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 these guys, you know. They're... And, and and all the podcast <laughs> listeners. Oh yeah, we have hundreds of them, all from the Netherlands. All right, oh, they're oh, all... No. <laughs> right. And they're all right, lost. Right. Oh, no. They're all wondering why this this episode is not in Dutch. But yeah, so <laughs> I, I I do uh, I do agree with a lot of what you guys have been saying. Like it's it's curious to to see the development of how local streaming has gone and uh, not local streaming sorry uh streaming online streaming has gone yeah streaming in general mm -hmm. so i'm pretty I'm... biased than on twitch honestly oh really yeah how, how how biased would you say like in what way would you be biased i don't know like i don't think i'll be like even if i if I were pretty big um there's just something about twitch like whenever i try to uh, like I watched Val Valkyrie's streams on YouTube. I watched, you know, Facebook streams because people stream a lot on Facebook. And you know, in, in chat, I type, I, I type Kappa. I'm like, oh god, it's not, it's not, it's not the on same. The <laughs> yeah. Where's, hey, where's right. my Kappa? Yeah, that's true. 
we're, we're yeah. not like this. We're Pepe Hands and all, all, all the yeah. emotes. Pepe Hands. It's it's not it's not the same, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where's Lul? Yeah, where's Lul? Yeah, I was going to say <laughs> Lul. I'm gonna yeah. miss that one the most. <laughs> Rip. I mean, we're not going anywhere yet, guys. We're not going anywhere. Yeah. So yeah, let's. No. Let's, yeah, let's try and focus so like, on I can I multi-stream, just so you know. <laughs> not not as care about us. us. <laughs> we're, too, we're small fish. We're small fry. No, but... Find us anytime and not tell us why. <laughs> <laughs> well, well when we, if you multi-stream, we'd know why, though. <laughs> 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 oh man! Not wrong. Next thing, oh man! Next thing you know, uh, quits long and now streaming on Facebook Live because DZ decided to stream on multiple platforms well, YouTube, using the account. I do not. I refuse to go to Facebook. The only reason why I stream my personal stuff on Facebook is because I know my friends will la- will love the dumb shit I do on Facebook. <laughs> we always love you, no, no matter no matter how dumb or how smart your plays are, man. Come oh no, on. I know. I, I embrace the dumb. It's just that the, I only do it on Facebook for that reason because my friends will. It, it's like a direct connection. I don't need like um, the organic stuff. Oh, okay. Organic. But that's just me. But of course, Chris <laughs> Stalin, we need that organic. Please, random people, come to us. Yeah. Send, well, well, send I, us I, that I vegan hear. stuff. Sorry, I was that I'm a random dude. Oh, dude, for real. For <laughs> real. <laughs> any 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 last bits of things you guys want to talk to Ram about before we end the end the show? Elgin, you had some news. I did yeah so one of the one of the big pieces of news i found online was um uh was about the xbox actually and um, we all know uh we all know the xbox the new xbox is coming out sometime in november this year yeah but news just recently came out that halo infinite is not going to be a launch title on it anymore so what do you what do y'all think of that that just i mean yeah i want to hear your 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 thoughts on that first my my thing with excuse me my my thing with xbox is that most of the games that the exclusive games on the xbox you can find on the pc so <laughs> i i yeah. legitimately don't understand why like i should buy an, an xbox like i understand for people that don't have a pc but you can i think you can get the pc for the around the same price as as mm-hmm. a the next box so I, re- I really don't get why why they're still keeping it especially since they they don't have like stuff like halo on it anymore mm-hmm. yeah because consoles consoles i think is mostly for like exclusive like sony and nintendo but if you don't right. have that on on the xbox then why uh i i would like to tell our microsoft overlords that i appreciate the fact that your offerings on xbox are also on pc Love you guys. All right. Uh, anyone else have any, <laughs> <laughs> have any thoughts on that? Um, I well, with with Halo not becoming a launch title, that's wow. I didn't think they'd ever do that because normally Halo would, right? Halo exactly. would always be yes. a launch title. Um, but you have to look at it like this: it's the sixth, seventh, I don't know, game in the franchise. <laughs> but they, I, I I try to take it as like okay. The reason why they're delaying it is because there was terrible feedback from what they saw and the the what whatever video they Xbox whatever thing that they made the demo the demo there that's the word the the Halo demo um so I I took it like this okay they want to make Halo good because the past Halos have sucked since Bungie left since it, since it became three four three sorry to say. So I guess this is like them saying, okay, we'll make a great game, but it's not going to be a launch title. But I remember when the, I, it for me, it's like, okay, they're going to make a great game. And that's, that's fine with me. I'm not going to get an Xbox anyway. <laughs> but, but with regards to Xbox, I just want to say that Xbox has been doing a, really great with that Xbox Pass. That's actually for me, it's like, it, the thing is, Xbox has a huge library of games. Fine, it's available on PC or whatever, but there are still some great games that are solely on you know my, for microsoft's exclusive there's still some that i would love to play and by having a subscription basis for it like netflix or hulu watches that or whatever <laughs> right or, you know, or, like, or crunchyroll you know those things those the soap the subscription stuff i can on i'm honestly i honestly think that xbox might 
you know, Microsoft is doing really well with the whole Xbox Game Pass. I think that's something they should really focus on in the coming years. Because there are some people who can't okay. afford a new AAA title every every time it comes out. So it's for it's for another tier of consumer. I know people who buy a Switch just for the indie games. A lot of people do that, and there are a lot of good indie games on the Switch, <laughs> right? So it's like it's a different tier of con- of customer, which is why not? You know, games yeah. for everyone, minus mobile. <laughs> I... Minus mobile. Okay, sorry, sorry. Go on, guys. Go on, guys. <laughs> Uh, one one thing I appreciate about uh, Nintendo is is that they they've stopped trying to match Sony or, or and Microsoft. Like they've embraced their, their their market and their niche in 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 the like handheld space or like you know they they know that their 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 gamers will will pick up Mario and Zelda and Smash Bros and all these exclusives. Yeah, and that's one thing that I I appreciate with with um, Nintendo as as a well, what is it developer no yeah, uh, yeah. company uh, as a company yeah. as a Develop- yeah developer yeah platform <laughs> developer <laughs> yeah developer develop- and, and company and publisher. developer and developer yeah definitely <laughs> wow <laughs> sorry <laughs> developer but yeah um compared to like Nint- uh, Microsoft who's tried to keep up with with sony like i i don't want i don't want microsoft to find their own like n- niche like so i, I totally get where you, what you're saying dz mm-hmm. with with the uh, online pass and you know that's if if they they back on that and like push go, like go go all in with it i think sure because mm-hmm. playstation lab is exclusive exclusives on, on playstation is really good like yeah, the, it's just on a different level. Um, Nintendo right. will have its exclusives, which which you'll never act, ever find that anywhere else. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. And Microsoft will have Halo. And, and Microsoft will have Halo. That's actually that's <laughs> yeah. actually the only game that I know. And mind you, I've never played it, uh, but I know everyone who's everyone uh, knows that Microsoft is Halo. It's, so honestly, that's it's, pretty much it. Yeah. It's high. Yeah. It's, I'll I'll say like I love Halo as a franchise. I love it. Yeah. Don't like three four three. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but yeah. Mm. Yeah. What was it? Three four three is also my. Oh. No, go go ahead. No, no, I was gonna make a joke, but yeah, it's all, it's oh, all good. Go, yeah. go, by by all means, go ahead. No, <laughs> no, I was gonna say. This joke. I was just gonna say three four three is also my least favorite soccer formation, but that, 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 that's a niche. That's a niche joke these Whoa. days. Okay. Yeah. But don't. Hey. <laughs> what did three four three do to you though? <laughs> <laughs> Made wingbacks a thing. No, go ahead. <laughs> yes. is, is it is 343 um, developing Halo? Halo no? Um, they're the ones because after Halo Three, um, mm-hmm. Bungie, the real, original developer, um, they left, and they're the ones who are making Destiny. I mean, they left Destiny. Microsoft, yeah. and they you know they teamed up with uh, whoever doing who's does who's doing Destiny now. Bungie. It's it's Bungie's doing Bungie. it themselves. Yeah. They used to be part they, of Activision uh, self publishing yeah. it. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, they're yeah. doing it themselves. So yeah, they're the ones doing Destiny. So of yeah. course, Microsoft wanted to fill that void, and they got three four three. So they're the ones who are they they were the ones who were doing the Halo RTS game, Halo Wars. And How many what, Halo yeah. games are there now? The mainline like, titles. The, the main. Yeah. Like I'd say seven. Like there are five numbered ones so far, plus Reach okay. and ODST. So that's seven, I think. So this is the eighth one coming out, right? This would be the eighth one, I think. Yeah. But six on the if it's numbered. Numbered six, yes. Yeah. Maybe they're doing a GTA Five thing, where they just never release it, <laughs> and just oh. release GTA Five on every other <laughs> platform. Oh god. Or what? Skyrim. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, the Skyrim. <laughs> you know, the I Skyrim think effect. That... Well, that's what that's what. Okay, that's something about what I've heard that I've heard. I forgot where I heard this, but they mm. did some something about Halo Infinite where Philip Spencer mentioned that Halo Infinite might be something where they've surprisingly they've realized that. Um, look at the Master Chief Collection. People bought that when it came on Steam. Mm. It's like they just want a central hub where they can play Halo. Yeah. And that's what mm-hmm. Halo, they're going to try to make Halo Infinite with that central hub idea that 
every succeeding update will just be new content. Yeah. It'll be a new uh, a new campaign, but a full new campaign. Um, and it's as far as maybe graphics goes, Finder will be an update. But the thing is, in Master Chief Collection, if like yeah, because of how it is now, like the first one, the first Combat Evolved, you can you can it's updated to today's standards, so it's gonna be like that. Like with every succeeding update, it's all there. So you just have to buy that game, and then I guess pay, it's like think of it as an expansion, in other words. So that's what it might be. Loosely yeah. put, that, that's what I've heard, okay? You can't quote me on that. Plus, it's very vague as what I said because I don't think there was an official. It's more of like I just heard this is very much hearsay. Yeah. Unrelated it, to what DZ said, has has Lionel Richie guested on Halo? Uh, what? Hello! <laughs> Hello! It's me you're looking for! <laughs> I forgot, we're talking to a, mu- a, a music a, a student. You know, a mu- a mu- <laughs> Music I'm grad. Li- I'm li- I'm li- I'm li- I don't know what to call you, a music God. student or a, a guy who's worked on, you know, has, took a music course. See, we'll work for games and still Fox here, just kind of, I don't know, they're, they're expressing expressions yep. right now. Expressing so the, expressions. expressions. That's definitely what you do with expressions. The, the, the funny thing with people and, and my puns is that people say, oh, you should make a pun. And once I make a pun, they go, God. Damn it. I love that though. You I asked for this. <laughs> exactly. You exactly. made me who I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't ask. Be careful what you ask for. You know. Yeah. yeah. Get it. What? That's what? Yeah. Yeah. They, I think I think they should get Lionel Richie to the guest. <laughs> and uh, circling back to not. Diego's point to wrap things up, I do want to say I think that's something that sports games should do. You know, if you don't have a significant oh, engine upgrade. Make it a patch. Make it a jersey patch, the tr- roster transfers roster. patch, because mm-hmm. that's actually something Pro Evolution Soccer has done uh, in 2020-2021, is they're making it a, a content patch for last year's game, because next year they're moving to a bigger engine, a better engine. I think it's the Unreal Engine 5 is what they're moving to. Ooh. So make it a thing, you know, unless you're moving to a bigger, to a different engine or having significant upgrades in terms of mechanics why not just do patches uh, that's yeah i don't know I, i'm no engineer. yeah ea I, I yeah the, EA. I the <laughs> ea we're looking at you 2k <laughs> yeah, yeah 2K, 2k games but as, a, as a fan of like uh i used to play nba 2k uh nba uh the the ea version at nba live yeah and, and the fifa games i'm like after a while i'm like i don't want to buy <laughs> I don't, I don't yes. want to buy this, but I want the roster changes. Yes. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Especially, exactly. especially for like things like FIFA, because the ch- this changes between this year and ne- next year, it's big, big changes to the to the squad. Yeah. So, so like, I, I want to play with my team right now, not the, the the my team before, but also have to pay for a full for a full game again. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I think uh, eighty dollars is gonna be worth it to see a digital crowd, <laughs> you know, because we can't get real crowds these days. Social distancing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, guys. No, no, yeah, dude. Um, I, I think what will happen is on FIFA and NBA for next for the next year, will be empty stands. Oh Realistic. my gosh. <laughs> Realism. Real. We're all in it for the realism. <laughs> yeah. right. FIFA and, and... COVID nineteen edition. <laughs> yep. Oh my god! <laughs> It'll sell like hotcakes. <laughs> no, oh, but dude. only digital, no physical copies. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they should do that though. That should. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's actually very interesting. Oh man! Well, speaking of things that are interesting, this episode has been interesting, and we really appreciate having you on, Ram and Elgin. Thank we you. love. We always love having you on. Uh, it's your first time behind the interview were seat, so Ish, uh, I hope yeah. you enjoy. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Yes, guys, we have to wrap things up now. It's getting late at night, all right, and neither one of us is sleeping. Pedestrian, thank you for that's the follow. Sister. We want to thank my sister. Oh, thank you, pedestrian. Yeah. All right, yep. uh, the the sister who would have been named Durango if she was a boy. Uh, <laughs> thank you to all our other followers like Jamanchetta, Juju. Is, it, is that is that uh, Norse or uh, Finnish? Yu Yu, uh, Marcaroni fifteen, Kado Ogan, Catalina Fire, Edgy Santos, the guys from Tander Chat, 
this Lent kid and Ungi Colin. Last Thanks minute. for the follow, buddy. Wow. Better Last late minute. than never. We're, we're, we're supposed to be P O K D drummer. P O K D drummer. Wait, P O K D drummer? P O K drummer. P O K D drummer. Jenga got owned. P O K D. The, okay, the drummer. I, I can see, okay, I can see the mathematical yeah. equations just floating <laughs> no. in his face yeah. as he's trying to figure out how that name Street works. Streamer problems, hey, man. dude. <laughs> he's seeing a name and like, um, how do I chop it up in my brain? Yeah, man. Thank, <laughs> thanks, sock drummer. Uh, Rip Screamer, thank you What's for up, the Jim? follow, too. Guys, Sounds thank good. you so much. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. We hope you continue to enjoy, even when Ram's not on, but we'll try and get him on as much as we can. All right? F follow me on my channel as well. Oh, we'll give you, we'll give you, we'll give you a sec. We'll give you, we'll that. Give you that. Yeah, right. we'll give you that. Uh, but for now, DZ, you want to spout off the names of our uh, most valuable subscribers, our MVSs? Sure. Did you send me a screenshot so I can read it better? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, close right it. Work. <laughs> Wait, there, I can read it. I can read it. I can full screen it. Everyone just got oh, called you... out there. Uh, the you can... subscribers, wow. right? All right. So I got this. Wait, no, I'm really Wait, wait. Look, I'm sending it on our... Chat. I'm sending it on our chat now. Uh, guys, don't forget to check us out on Spotify, Apple Play, uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and anywhere you can get your podcasts, you can find us. And if you can't find us there, why not just, you know, uh, ask us to put it there? <laughs> we will. We will. All right. DZ, g give, give, a, give a shout out to all our MVSs. Don't you just love ad breaks? It gives us so much time to do to send these screenshots. Amazing, amazing. You see behind the scenes impromptu stuff, Harold. This is the stuff that you're saying we were mentioning earlier. Ninety percent of this is impromptu. All right, so to our to our humble and beautiful subscribers. Oh my God, Francis just Francis toppled. Is, has taken Ooh. the crown as our number one subscriber. But DZ, keep in mind, Human Panda has like 700 gifted subs. So there is that. <laughs> <laughs> so technically, as a sub, Francis is on top. Yes. Yes. Followed by Human Panda. Followed by Bimo King of Ooh, Miko P, Nerf Diva, Sensei Humor, The Notorious KGM, Insta DZ, Ion Hammerstream, Wisa is Neo Gear, Sil Fox, Denunci, Fury Bot. New Mali, Zephy Buns, Russell Jello. I was trying to do one breath. Jonathan, I. I, I uh, Jonathan. Janathian. Janathian. Drolix. Droli. Droli. Another deep cut. Okay, I'm sorry. Deep cut, oh deep cut. Mirage deep Leonardo cuts. 84 and CZ 64 in our chat and in, in our sub list. Thank you guys for the subs. You have paid for Harold's internet because he's this is all him, man. <laughs> this is all him. Got, gotta work hard for that money. All right, uh, Elgin, you want to do our bit cheers for, for the first time ever? Sure. Uh, let me see if yes. I can read this too. <laughs> it's in, it's in uh, the chat. It's in the chat. Oh, is it in the chat? Hold up. Yeah, let me... I, I, I pasted I, I, it. I, Oh, is it in the chat? Well, hold up, hold up. Okay. Pros. In our in our private uh in our private chat. On Facebook? Question yes, mark. Sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on Facebook. Darn it! No wonder I have it closed. Hold on. <laughs> Give me like. Oh, it's all good. It's three all good. Seconds. As as Just Elgin three... looks for that, check out our emotes, guys. <laughs> I am still on top, but of course, uh, Wancho and Derek are hot on my heels. That's why I keep spamming my own emote, guys. You know, if you're a subscriber, you you can enjoy our emotes like QS Moji Harold Low. Don't forget Wancho Fist. I swear that's not dirty. Sense, hey, <laughs> whenever people come into the chat, greet them with a little sense, hey. And of course, if you're finding things funny, but not in 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 a hilarious way, but in in a little more uh, cheeky way, you can always use the DZ emoji because we love that one. And of course, Miktas for when you're feeling uh, musical. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Elgin, who are our bitchers? <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, Nerf Diva at first place, uh, No Plays uh, at second, Neo Gear in third, myself in fourth place, which, I mean, I feel pretty bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> then we got Mikhail Roldan, Alriz27, Bimo King of Ooh, Miko P, If Not Now, Gwen, Mershi, the guys at Gameical, Hue underscore, um, Insta DZ, 
Pimp, oh my gosh, here we go. Pimp Hulper, oh my God. Pimp Hulper <laughs> drank? Oh my God. <laughs> Help. Um, Tita, Ga uh, Tita Gamings. Oh man, my coño is coming out. Uh, the Real VG Data, 21. Uh, Kebu TV underscore. Wisais, Curry Server, and Aaron Gaming, one, uh, 441. And thank you to everyone who we didn't mention off, but maybe you cheered on with a bit. Maybe you subscribed to us once. Or if you just in enjoy all our stuff and you just continue to watch. Thank you, guys. We, we appreciate it very much. You know, leave a like and a subscribe. Click that bell icon and so much more. We love every single one of you. Guys, let's sign things off. DZ, show us how it's done. Where can the folks at home find you when you're not on Game Bite? <sighs> when I'm around Game Bite, you guys can find me on my Instagram, where I post my usual dumb stuff. That's at InstaDZ for Instagram, and also on Twitter, at InstaDZ, but I don't use that. Uh, Facebook, facebook.com slash Diego.InstaDZ. That's where I post all my director-related and editing-related production stuff. Uh, also, if you guys like... If you can, <laughs> this episode is entirely brought to you by... This is the same shameless-ass plug. So I've been doing a new food. I'm in the... I'm, <laughs> Kind of doing a shift in career path. I'm getting into food business. So if you guys want some Spanish tapas, okay? You still doing Not... that even from home? I'm going to find a way, man. Career, All career right. path, man. Life finds make a it way. Happen. Life finds a way. So if you guys still want Spanish, if you guys want some food from the mainland, from the homeland, you can go to uh, www.facebook.com slash tapastyle. Did you just call Spain the mainland of the Philippines? DZ, we didn't go through <laughs> no, I did. an independent the the to, to, to be brought back to, <laughs> under your colony, sir. Yeah, I'm, still right, we, we... On, I'm still working on the spiel, okay? Wow. <laughs> okay, go Lots on. Lots of colonizer food. Here you go. <laughs> Keeping it real, am I right? Lots of colonizer food. All right. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right. All right. So, All right. Feels bad, but okay. So yeah, um, doing a career change. Gonna start getting into the food industry. If you guys want some Spanish tapas, um, please check out my Facebook page. Facebook uh, or yeah, facebook.com slash tapastyle.ph. Also on Instagram, that's at tapastyle. We sell. Uh, we're selling right now. We only have just a few recipes of uh, homemade tapas, which is inspired, of course, from um, the Spanish tapas uh, from Spain. And then we're also looking towards. Uh, maybe a month from now, so uh, considering selling some paella or paella, depending on Ooh. how you want to say it, doesn't matter. We're in the Philippines, so we say paella. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's 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 where you guys can check out other stuff. How about you, Elgin? Where can people at home find Elder Jin when he's not making appearances on Game Bite? Well, when I'm not making appearances on Game Bite, you'll find me 90% of the time on Twitch at twitch.tv slash elderjin. I am now streaming on a regular basis, so you can catch me on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. That would be 7 a.m. for you guys over there. So, yeah, catch me on um, twitch.tv slash elderjin. And our guest of honor, the Ram Ronquilia, just the random dude. Where can people at home find you when you're not on appearing on game by words i'm usually at home no i'm kidding um, <laughs> you, you right over uh, <laughs> address <laughs> well you guys can follow me on instagram and twitter that's just a random dude uh it's right there in, in the in the which part this this part no no, no this oh, part. oh there oh, oh yeah, yeah, there. yeah, yeah. right there <laughs> um, on twitch I, I stream as well but currently i'm on a hiatus because my pc is broke and I went through stuff, so uh, you guys can follow me on Twitch as well. That's just a random good underscore. It's a second account, so go figure. <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. Yeah. All right. And if you guys want to find more of me, you guys can head on over to Twitter at Harold Plays and look at <laughs> amazing photos. <laughs> Can't find you there. <laughs> My debut what? on TV. Harold, where All you right. at? <laughs> Can't find you. I'm Resisting. right there. <laughs> no, I'm what? Right huh? <laughs> You guys can find me on Twitter and on Instagram at Harold Plays. And of course, whenever Quitslong posts something, I usually have a hand in it. You know, if, if it's bad grammar, like Ram dislikes, probably not me. Probably not me. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we're exploring a lot of different things now here on Quitslong. Catch me, Derek O'Brien, and Wancho Saldana as we test out the Steam version of the Marvel's Avengers beta this weekend. Yes, we will become the beta vendors and fight bros who were like, oh, I'm so alpha, dude. And, you know, it's all good. 
It's all good. To each their own. To each their own. But yes, we will be testing out the Marvel's Avengers beta this weekend. We'll, be, we'll also be having a returning co-host to the Quetzalcan Geekcast, James Gutierrez. You guys might know him from the opening. He's the very first person who greets us and congratulates us on our 100th episode in our video uploaded on YouTube. So check that out. That was our last gathering as a, as a group uh, on, on live stream. So enjoy that. Twitch.tv slash Quetzalcan is where you can find all our uh, live streams. You can find all our video content on YouTube.com slash Quetzalcan. You can find all our other content on Instagram at Quetzalcan. And of course on Facebook and Twitter at Quetzalcan. Us. You have to add the U and the S after Quetzalcan because someone happened to own those URLs and don't use it. Come on, man. We need, we, we need a copyright. We need a proof of registration before we can claim those. And I don't really want to get into that right now. But thank you, everyone, for checking out GameBite. If it's your first time or your 100th, whether you're subscribing for the first time or your 31st, yeah, we, we appreciate you. Love you all. DZ, you want to sign us out? For uh, I, me. I think DZ, <laughs> for DZ Elgin, had an error. error for for Rav, <laughs> our special guest. For Harold, get off your butts and quit stalling. See you guys next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.